All right, we have 0, 27, HW1, adding and subtracting integers. We're going to go over the first five problems. And then you're going to be responsible for problems 6 through 10. All right, so problem number one. It says 1 plus a negative 5 minus a negative 4 plus negative 6. What we got to do, we have to combine our like terms. We got to make sure we look at our signs and simplify things all the way down to one particular number. Notice each one of these numbers, they're all integers. None of them have any variables, or x's or y's or any other letters. So what we can do, well, we know a plus and a minus, that simplifies down to a minus. So we have negative 1 minus 5. These two negatives turn into a positive, so that's a positive 4. And a positive and a negative back to back makes a negative. Then we go left to right. Negative 1 minus 5 gives us negative 6. Positive 4 minus 6 gets you negative 2. Then negative 6 minus 2 gets you 8. And that's the answer to number 1, which is C in the multiple choice. C equals negative 8. That's what we did when we evaluate each expression. Next up is problem number two. Next up is problem number two, which says negative seven plus one plus five minus three. We gotta evaluate, we gotta simplify. Make these four integers into just one integer. So negative seven plus one, we know is negative six. Positive five minus three gets you positive two. Negative six plus two gets us negative four. And that's C in the multiple choice. Next problem we're going to do is problem number three. All right, this is problem number three. We have to make sure we're very careful with our signs. That's the whole practice here that we want to focus on, is being adding and subtracting integers, and we are very careful with our signs. So in this case, we have positives and negatives. We have one positive here and a negative here that are back to back. So positive and negative, when we go back to back, is really just a negative. Let's carry everything else down. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 minus 3 gets you 11. And 11 minus 7 gets you 4. So problem number 3, the answer is 4, which is D in the multiple choice. So we just have to practice being careful with our signs and combining our like terms or our integers that are the same. Next up is problem number four. Here's problem number four. We have negative eight minus a negative five plus a negative four minus five. So the first thing I look at, I try to find out where there's back-to-back -back signs. Right here we got two negatives in a row, which we know that's just is a really positive five. So we have negative eight plus five. A plus and a negative, they're back to back. A plus and a negative is really just a negative. And then we carry down, so it'd be negative four, then we carry down our negative five. Negative eight plus five gets us negative three. Carry down the negative four, carry down the negative five. Negative three minus four gets us negative seven. Negative seven minus five gets us negative 12, which is A and our multiple choice for problem number four. All right, here we go with the last problem that we're gonna to do together before you do a couple on your own is problem number five here on the homework. So we look at it, eight plus negative five minus negative three, I'm oh, sorry, minus three plus one. So our back-to-back -back signs is the plus and the negative, so that's really just a negative. So eight minus five minus three plus one. 8 minus 5 gets you 3. Carry down to minus 3, then the plus 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 